Morning everybody, welcome to the channel. Well, Saturday morning, quarter after eight. I've already had one coffee, working on my second one. And uh, it, it, it's come to my attention through a comment, and, and I love comments, right? There's no, uh, definitely, because it, it really puts me in touch with the viewers of the channel. And uh, we are all, as to me, one whole community on this channel. So it is, it, I, I, you know, I, I'm not uh, out there trying, trying, trying to, you know, I, 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 my goal is to be monetized, but doing the stuff that I do and sticking to the stuff that I do and being truthful is a very hard <laughs> hill to climb on on these social media platforms and i only do this one in facebook so it's a and the same name dave rust photography on facebook so anyways i uh i, I had a comment this morning uh saying that i was emulating uh, uh another uh, uh uh old celebrated you know uh photographer and uh and I get it, you know, but that's not what I'm doing. It does us a lot of good to study the older masters. I've just started this a few months ago. In fact, the, the person that I was, uh, I was likened to, I have not really studied yet. So I went today on the Joel, this morning on the Joel Ulysses site, just to see who this Carter, uh, uh, Henry, I think he was a photojournalist, but, but uh, I, I could see where some, the one video where I was trying to get used to uh, shooting in portrait with uh, the golden ratios and stuff like that on that video. Uh, and, and it's, but here's something that I think everybody here or everywhere, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> in my opinion, need to realize it's been done before, right? It's been done before. There's been so, you go on the Joel Ulysses site, and I'm going to put a link this time. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to put a link on in the descriptions below this video to Joel Ulysses. And, and uh, there'll be over a hundred videos in there of Vivian Meyer, uh, uh, Fan Ho, you know, you've never even heard of half these people. But the, what I really enjoy about this channel that I'm watching, this Joel Ulysses, is, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is you get a short written biography and then a slideshow and then a quote from the photographer at the end. No words, no uh, going through books where they're explaining what this full photography is or somebody else pushing on you what their view of this photography is. Just a slideshow with some music, just that's it. And it's been the, <clears throat> since I've been watching that Joel Ulysses site, it's been about three, three months now, four months, I've, I've, uh, and, and then there's another one called uh, Photography Greats or The Great Photographers. That one has just started recently, I've, I've noticed. Same, same, same format, uh, slideshow, is, is it, you get to look at their work and you get to feel and get your own impression as if you're going through an art gallery with slideshows. When you're reading books, I find there's, there's descriptions in there and, and that kind of, you know, changes your bias towards what the person was thinking, but we're off track here. What, what, what I'm trying to say is, it's been done before. Over a hundred videos on that site of a hundred different, you know, and, and some of the women photographers, even back to the 1800s are just amazing. But you, you, you you go onto that site and you realize how many celebrated great photographers there were and still are across the world. So it's been done before. Landscape photography, it's been done before. There's, you can easily 
be accused of emulating any of these greats with any photo you take. So, or any, even on your own style, because they were prolific, and there, there were so many. To me, one of the greatest photographers that, that, that put into the photography community and changed the community was definitely Ansel Adams. Uh, you know, with the dodging and burning and, and, and the, uh, you know, and his zone system. That was, I, I'm to me, the most influential. But no matter what photo you take, on what street, in, on what mountain, on what hill, from what airplane, from what drone, it's been done before. You're not going to invent a brand new compositional style or anything and not be accused of sooner or later of someone saying, you know, well, this is what's his name style. But that is such an impolite way of putting things anyhow, because it's all been done before. So we're out trying to find our own style and we're out trying to find ourselves at the same time, we got some kind, you know, and, and I'm, I'm sure that people don't really mean to do this, but it's a mistake to say that another photographer is emulating an older photographer because there's no possible way you can take a photo now in these, in, in these times, in these days, that is not going to look like somebody else's style because, you know, we have to be realistic. So the more polite way of putting it is, oh, some of your work reminds me of this photographer, or some of the, your work reminds me of that, you know, or, or, or this, this, this person. Wow, that, that reminds me of that. That's a polite way of putting it. And, 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 and that, that is a proper way of putting it because <laughs> we're all trying to find our own styles. But, and we're all, you know, there's lots of influencers on there. The, pho the photographic guy, he's, he's great to watch. The, but the, the, they're trying to put, you know, find your style in there. And then, and then you, you have people saying, well, you're emulating this person. Well, no, I don't think so. In fact, I didn't even see this person's work until this morning, but that's fine. That's fine. It's, I'm not, my feelers aren't all tutor. It's just I'm concerned of where something, these habits can go to hurt all the other people in the, pho in the photographic community. And you know what? The only styles that you're going to get now, I'm sorry to have to say, that are new is the AI programs that are actually you put in what you want to see and then they put out your fo your photo and in fact there's one bouncing all over right now about this contest that was won and uh, I think from a German photographer I can't remember and it was all AI generated the people didn't even exist and and so that's why probably he won the contest because it looked like something brand new because it is something brand new it's uh, the people don't exist. The machine just takes what you put into it and gives you its rendition. So, uh, but that's not photography, right? We that's 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 uh, that that's AI art. Uh, you know, it does us a lot of good to keep it separate. Okay, so this is just a talking video. I got more photos than that coming up. I still got three or four in the can, but uh, I just wanted to touch bases with everybody. And, and let, let everyone know that uh, it's, it's all been done before. And, and, and we, most of us photographers know that it's all been done before. And we're just trying to find our groove in the middle. And we're learning from some of the older masters and that how they did things. It's, it, there's nothing unhealthy about somebody saying, I'm quite flattered actually by somebody saying, your work is emulating or your work your work is is uh, reminds me of this person you know I'm, I'm quite flattered because I never thought I'd ever hear something like that and I've heard it three or four times so anyways I just got one more thing to show you
<laughs> Look what we got. <laughs> like, subscribe, click the bell. I'll be throwing a video up later on today. See you later. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is exciting.